The danger is past, and the lingering illness is over at last, and the fever calling living is conquered at last. Sadly, I know, I'm short of my strength, and no must go I move as a lot full love. But no matter, I feel I'm better at last. And I rest so composedly, now in my bed, that any beholder thinking me dead. The moaning and groaning, the sighting and sobbing, I'm quiet now, with the hope of throbbing at heart. Ah, that horrible, horrible throbbing. The sickness, the nausea, the pitiless pain have peace with the fever that maddened my brain, with the fever called living, that burned my brain, and all of torture. The torture that the worst has abetted, the terrible torture of thirst for the river of fear occurs. I have drank of a water that quenches our thirst, of a water that flows with a lullaby sound from a spring but a very few feet from the ground, from a carver not very far down under the ground. And now, uh, let it never be foolishly said, the room is gloomy and the narrow my bed. For a man never slept in a different bed, and to sleep you must slumber in such a bed. Escape, escape. I try, but I can't. 